Welcome back to Rugby M. Still with Keith Senior, and we're joined by Lee J. Walker alongside Matt Foster. Uh, first and foremost, Keith, you missed the dance. I did. Do how, it, yes. how very dare you? I know. But you sent Eddie Batty in your place. I did do it. He lost in the final. He did. He, he'd have done be he did better than what I would have done. Uh, but very disappointed that he didn't win. Mate, he, he was blaming the professional. Is it dark horse? I've got to admit, you, you'll see very soon that we do a bit of a darts VT. Uh, the professional blokes, Ted Anke, he had 15 pints, mate. 15 <laughs> pints and threw darts. And they, <laughs> and they were in the 180s. Unbelievably hard. Ben Carney, who ran the show earlier on, he hit a 180 in practice. He's an excellent darts player, and he was a bit disappointed that he didn't get to play. But um, fantastic night, and we've learned a lot from it. So we're going to do one in the off-season in December. The darts will be back at the frontier in December. We've got two dates in mind at the moment. We'll get that up on the website and uh, get um, the dates out to everybody. But are you going to play next time, Keith? I don't know if I'll play because I tried. I'd, I've done it before. And I'll see if I can get another ringer in. But uh, yeah, he did. He did a great job, did Eddie. And it was an entertaining night by the sounds of it. Mate, it was great. The boys supported it well. Thirteen professional players. Sky Sports came down in the place doing uh, Magic Weekend preview, which were good yeah. for the Magic Weekend. Uh, are you a darts fan, boys? You like you like the darts? Uh, I certainly like to have a few pints. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, he's the best policy. Right, this is the Rugby AM Darts Dazzler down at the Frontier nightclub. Check out some of the names. Hawaii 501 Wayne Mardell, killing it right now. Rugby AM Darts Dazzler tonight. The legend that is Hawaii 501 Wayne Mardell here in the place. When are you looking forward to get mixing it with the big boys, the rugby boys? Well, you say mixing it with the big boys. I've never felt so inferior in my life. <laughs> I feel like a child. Uh, look, y you guys have, have got some shoulders and some height about you. On the board, I'm fine. I, I, it, it kind of level things up, but away from the hockey, I, I, I do. I feel like a, I feel like a four-year-old child. It's horrible. <laughs> now you've picked two of the big ones. That you've drawn two of the big ones tonight. You got Danny Kerman, this fine young bearded man. He's your partner, and then oh, you're my partner. Yeah, yeah. Hi, man. Yeah. Hi, hi, hi. <laughs> and, and then you've, you've got Big Earl as well. You can see in the background there, the big man himself, the giant. So I think your your, your chances are pretty good tonight with these boys. Danny Kerman from Wakefield Wildcats. It's been a bit of a terrible season so far. But this is the turning point for the Wakefield Wildcats season tonight. Yeah, I reckon I'm coming for Winsome. Uh, I'll definitely be good at counting with points we've been conceding at the minute anyway. So uh, I think Wagger's struggling to add them up, but... You know, around 60, I'll be pretty good at the minute. But yeah, the, things haven't been that good on field, but looking to turn it round. And tonight, I think, might be a bit catalyst, isn't it? And tonight, you were, as soon as you, we asked you to do it, right, there's two real big characters here tonight. There's the King Bobby George, you can see him over there with all his gold on. And uh, there's the Hawaii 5 0 Wayne Madel. That's who you're playing with, 5 1. I'm excited to be on stage with the with the legend. Oh, buzzing! Yeah, he's just uh, I love watching him commentate on, on darts and that, and he's just a character, isn't he? And you know, something that you try and get out at rugby lads, try and get the characters across, and it's great to meet so many darts characters here tonight. All right, Ted, pleasure to meet you, mate. How are you feeling tonight at the RL Darts Dazzler down at the Frontier Battley? Well, I'm here to win, mate. So everybody's just got to watch out. It's great. Got a great crowd here. It's great mixing with you, rugby lads. It's brilliant. Yeah, great. Uh, are you happy with your partner? Who's your partner, Ted? Let's talk you through it. Well, you're my partner, but I'm trying to train you, but you're not going with it at the minute. You have to do what I do. I'm not going to say what you should do, but you've got to go with it. Be fun. We'll win this, I'm telling you. I feel we'll, I feel we'll win this one. Ted's, Ted's already uh, agreed to leave the car, and uh, I'm going to leave the car and have a few beers tonight. Is that the way you warm up to every game, Ted? Yeah, we need at least 12 before we play the first game. Yeah. So, we'll be all right. We won't be drunk because the adrenaline burns it off, all right? Yeah. We will win, trust yeah. me. Got you back. Okay? Cheers, Ted. I, I will leave you the double, all right? Yeah. Sorted. Cheers, Ted. Let's smash it. Danny, are you confident? I know you're one of the best all-round sportsmen I've ever met. Are you coming here tonight to win? Well, I'm, I'm competitive, right? Jones and me, you know that. We've had a, we have plenty of battles on the training field. and um, I, would be, I would be more, uh, what's the word, confident if you know I got a bit of practicing, but... Uh, my wife made me take the dartboard down. We're doing too much damage to the paintwork, so the, the dartboard's been in the garage for about two and a half years now. So I'm going, I'm going into it tonight cold, but uh, I'll give it my best shot. Oh, Danny requires 32. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned earlier about being competitive. You played a bit of snooker as well, didn't you, as a kid? Plays everything, Mugsy, and he likes to win. 
just tell us really quickly that story when you played your kid again. <laughs> this Suka. is your favourite story. My favourite story in the whole world. This personifies Danny Maguire and his family and how competitive they are. Just tell us quickly about it. We used to go to a super snooker in town and we used to have a, a tournament on a Saturday morning. And me and my brother both made the semi finals. I won to get to the final, my brother were playing the other semi final. So he reckoned that I would um, try to put him off so he didn't get through to the final. But I actually were trying, I wanted him to win. Anyway, he lost his final, lost his semi final. I got to the final, I won, got the trophy, like you do, celebrating. He unscrewed his, his, his cue, took the fat end out. And he capped me, and I was playing. I was playing. <laughs> I was playing for Yorkshire against Lancashire. And supposed to be playing for Yorkshire against Lancashire the next day. Uh, it's safe, to, safe to say, my knee swelled up. Couldn't play. Couldn't run for about three weeks. About 13 year old. Right, joined tonight by the man with the best nickname in darts, I think, Dennis the Menace Priestley. Dennis, good evening. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, pleasure, mate. Are you looking forward to the evening? Yeah, it's going to be a fun evening. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, mixing with, with rugby lads, yeah. Matty Ryan for the Wakefield Wildcats. There's a lot of good Australian dance players. Are you one of them? Yeah, well, I'm here to represent Australia. I've come a long way just to do this, so I'm, I'm ready for a big one. Oh, you've seen plenty of dance legends around here and a few of the rugby boys. Who do you think's the dark horse for tonight? Who, who do you feel like could take the title looking at the warm-up boards? I just want anyone to win Bart Kermo, really. So. Right, we're now joined by the first man ever to do a nine darter on TV, John Law. John, very good evening. Are you looking forward to it first and foremost? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, this is a... Uh, to me, this is the Battle of Variety Club, not the Frontier. As many as many people your you know, age will and, know uh, it. And, and uh, it's just great to be able to play in it. Absolutely. A lot of famous events have gone down in this place. A lot of big names in the world of sport, music. Are you hoping tonight's going to be as, as spectacular as some, as some of those events? I think tonight will just be a bit of camaraderie between rugby and darts and uh, we're not expecting anybody to be brilliant are we we're just expecting them to enjoy the night and, and, and just have a good time we've got Donald here first who's representing OKR okay, who have you come as tonight what's your nickname uh, I'm not sure well Simo's chose man I think it's something like the shark have you been practicing no I've had a few darts before but uh, nothing nothing before this really last time we had you on the game show you was talking about slaughtering animals you used to live on a farm so I, I presume you're pretty good with a sharp weapon like a dart yeah, not too bad, hopefully. Hopefully I'm alright when I'm shooting them cows anyway. Not many uh, tropical people play darts. Jamie! The Leon, have you been practicing, mate? No. And I'm rubbish. <laughs> Are you looking forward to it though? Yeah, it's not a bad event, is it? No, it's good fun. I mean, it's, if you look around, with some professional professional dance players here. Well, you know, you, you see on television, all the rugby boys are always making effort to come together on a uh, good event. So, looking forward to it. I'm a little bit nervous, but it's all good fun, isn't it? I see the champion tonight. How do you feel, mate? Right, Ecstatic. Seven. Yeah, it's been great. I had a great partner, John. Absolutely fantastic. It was a pleasure to watch him. How accurate they are and how, how useless. John, you've had a good fight. He's finished two legs tonight. Were you surprised how good he was? Well, especially when he said he couldn't finish at the beginning of the night, yeah. And then he hit that 140 in the final. Come on. He's, it's a dark horse, really, isn't it? Raise your game, mate. Will you come back at, at Christmas time for the second Darts Dazzler? Well, we hold the trophy, don't we? So we, we, we've, we've, we've laid down the gun. Anybody else wants to take this trophy off of us? We've got to come out early. We've got to come out early, haven't we? We've got to come out fighting. Yeah, we'll we'll mate, thank you very much for playing. John Boy, thank you. Thank you. We'll see you at Christmas time for the second Rugby M Darts Dazzler.